ஹாய் நீட் ஆஸ்பிரண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி சார்பாக அனைத்து விதமான டாபிக் சார்ந்த ஒவ்வொரு வீடியோவும் இனி வரும் நாட்களில் உங்களுக்கு வரும் உங்களுக்கு இதை சார்ந்த சந்தேகங்கள் கேள்விகள் எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் கமெண்ட்ஸில் பாஸ் பண்ணுங்க எங்க எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி மெம்பர்ஸ் போடுற வீடியோஸ் பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா ஷேர் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அந்த வீடியோ ரெகுலராக உங்களுக்கு வரணும்னா சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க தேங்க்யூ விஸ் ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் குட் மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் டுடே டாபிக் ஈஸ் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேட்டர் states of matter states of matter in states of matter we can different states first one is a solid state solid state next one is liquid state and another one is the gaseous state what are the matter can be exist in matter can be exist in solid state liquid state gaseous state in solid state the molecules atoms ions are very close to each other there is strong intermolecular force of attraction is present there is strong intermolecular force of attraction is present the solids are having definite shape definite volume compressibility incompressibility rigidity is present in solid liquid the for example if you take water and the what is the solid form of water ice and what is the liquid form of liquid form of water is that is water and next one is the gaseous form is water vapor that is water vapor water vapor in this ice and water and water vapor are different physical properties same chemical composition different physical properties same chemical composition same comp chemical composition means the formula of water is h2o but different properties the solids are different properties and liquids are different properties and gaseous water vapor means gaseous that one also different properties now <coughs> there are two types of interactions one is intermolecular force of interaction intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular force intermolecular force of attraction attraction is present due to intermolecular force of attraction the molecules are very close to each other there are two types one is intermolecular force of attraction due to intermolecular force of attraction the molecules are close to each other when close to each other means there is a strong interaction is present means the this intermolecular force of attraction to measure the potential energy to measure the potential energy now if more intermolecular forces that one is uh, easily more attractions are present next one is gaseous molecules have thermal motion means thermal energy thermal energy we can measure the kinetic energy this thermal energy the molecules are far away from each other far apart because more thermal energy means there is more apart there the molecules are far away from each other if more intermolecular forces means very close to each other one is the intermolecular force of attraction another one is the thermal energy another one is the thermal energy how to uh, give because the gaseous molecules due to motion it giving thermal motion means thermal energy creating if intermolecular force if intermolecular force is greater than thermal energy intermolecular force is greater means the molecules are from intermolecule means gas is converted to liquid 
एंड लिक्विड इज कन्वर्टेड टू सॉलिड वेर इट इज इंटरमालिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज मोर इफ इंटरमालिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज मोर देर आर वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर दैट्स वाई गैस इज कन्वर्टेड टू लिक्विड लिक्विड इज कन्वर्टेड टू सॉलिड नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज थर्मल एनर्जी इज ग्रेटर देन इंटरमालिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन थर्मल एनर्जी इज ग्रेटर देन इंटरमालिकुलर आई एफ मीन्स इंटरमालिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन thermal energy due to gas molecules or motion it creates thermal energy thermal energy is responsible the molecules are far away from each other now solid is converted to solid is converted to liquid and now liquid is converted to gas liquid is converted to gas now there are two types of interaction one is intermolecular force of attraction another one is the thermal energy this thermal energy responsible for the molecules are far away from each other apart far apart and intermolecular force of attraction is very close to each other but in thermal in in this this molecules have no potential energy no potential energy like ideal gases ideal gases having no potential energy only kinetic energy real gases having potential energy and kinetic energy because real gases intermolecular force of attraction is present but in ideal gases there is no intermolecular force of attraction now you have to remember states of matter solid liquid gas now solid different properties liquid different properties gases also different properties here is the the chemical composition of water is same but the different ice and water and water vapor the dif different physical properties same chemical composition here two types of interactions are present between molecules one is intermolecular force of attraction very close to each other very close here is thermal energy thermal energy means the molecule of the gas contain the molecules of the gas having movements it creates a thermal motion this thermal motion is thermal energy this thermal energy is to measure the kinetic energy this intermolecular force of attraction to measure the potential energy if more intermolecular force of attraction now gas is converted to liquid liquid is converted to solid because why is our solid because here solid very close to each other there is strong attractive force of attraction in solid next one is thermal energy is more thermal energy is more means here far away from each other that's why solid liquid gas in gaseous molecules ions are very far away from each other but solid very close to each other these are the points you have to remember thermal energy and intermolecular forces next next one is if you take there are two types of interaction one is the mutual attractions another one is the escaping tendency mutual attraction means more intermolecular forces of attraction more intermolecular force of attraction et means thermal energy here is more if for example this is the mutual attraction mutual attraction is greater than escaping tendency that is called solid that is solid now mutual attractions is equal to escaping tendency that is called liquid that is called liquid next one mutual attractions less than escaping tendency more escaping tendency more thermal energy means that is called gas these are the what are the tendencies of interactions one is mutual attraction escaping tendency mutual attraction means intermolecular forces of attraction more intermolecular forces of attraction that is solid why that solid are 
cation and anion are very strongly attracting each other if you take solid nacl na plus and cl minus strongly attracting each other that's why more mutual attraction that is solid and mutual attractions is equal to escaping tendency that is called liquid next to mutual attractions are less than compared to escaping tendency more escaping tendency the molecules of gases are more escaping that is called gas now intermolecular forces of attractions what is the intermolecular force of attraction means van der waals forces of attraction right the today class van der waal van der waals forces of attraction van der waals forces how many types of van der waals forces jd van der waal jd van der waal this is a scientist name jd van der waals observed in between polar polar molecules in between polar polar molecule is observed the properties of polar polar next one is polar and non polar polar and non polar next one is non polar non polar molecule non polar non polar next one is ion polar molecule interaction ion polar next one is ion non polar ion non polar jd van der waals is the scientist he observed in a real gases because real gases having kinetic energy and potential energy real gas is having more intermolecular forces of attraction that intermolecular forces of attraction means van der waals forces jd van der waals he observed between interactions between polar polar molecules polar non polar molecules non polar non polar molecule ion polar molecule ion non polar molecule if what is the polar molecule you know polar polarity of the molecule means for example i am taking hcl in hcl here is more electron density is present here is minus here is plus the dipole moment from less electronegative to more electronegative less electronegative to more electronegative this is the polarity of that how many dipoles are present one dipole is present if you take water molecule if you take water molecule also here how many dipoles are present how many dipoles here is plus this one this one also plus here is minus here also minus from less electronegative to more electronegative less electronegative to more electronegative two dipoles are present here is two dipoles are present if you take carbon tetrachloride cl 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 and four dipoles are present four dipoles are present four dipoles are present here is what is dipole moment you know dipole moment means dipole moment will mu net is equal to zero that is molecule is non polar another one is the mu net not is equal to zero that is polar molecule based on concept you have to remember resultant vector resultant vector here is polar polar molecule means if polarity of a molecule means dipoles means he observed dipole dipole interaction two polar molecules means dipole dipole interaction here is dipole induced dipole interaction next one is non polar non polar instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction london forces dispersion forces between non polar non polar molecule ion polar means ion dipole interaction ion dipole interaction ion induced dipole interaction these are the he explained polar polar molecule polar non polar 
non polar non polar ion polar ion non polar dipole moment means one is a less electronegativity another here is more electronegative more electron density present on chlorine less electron density present on hydrogen the dipole moment from less electronegative to more electronegative one dipole is two dipoles here is four dipoles what is dipole moment already you know mu is equal to q into d Internuclear distance and charge on the ion. Already we discussed in dipole moment in the chapter. Now one by one we can discuss polar polar molecule means what is polar polar dipole dipole interaction. Polar non polar means dipole induced dipole interaction. One by one we can discuss. Right and first one is dipole dipole interaction. Dipole dipole interaction first van der waals force of attraction is dipole dipole interaction here dipole means this must be polar molecule here also polar molecule two polar molecule interaction or two dipole dipole means what two polar molecule interaction is called dipole dipole interaction i am taking polar molecule first one is a hcl i am taking in HCl, this one is the negative charge, here is the positive charge. Now, dipole moment is which side? From less electronegative to more electronegative. Now, this one is another one dipole, dipole interaction with, uh, here is H plus and uh, Cl minus, here also negative. And this type of interaction is called dipole-dipole interaction. If you take a water molecule, water molecule interaction, if you take HF, HF, another one is the another polar molecule, we can take HCl, HCl, here is less positive, here is negative and now this one is interaction with hydrogen and uh, here is also uh, positive, here also negative. This is another type of hydrogen bonding also. This is one of the hydrogen bonding also. Hydrogen bonding. Two polar molecules interaction with each other. Two polar molecules means two permanent dipole moment. Two permanent dipole molecules are interacting with each other. That is called dipole-dipole interaction. Next one is the dipole dipole induced dipole interaction induced dipole interaction dipole induced dipole interaction here is dipole means that must be polar molecule polar molecule here is inducing means that is the non polar molecule non polar molecule example tell me N2, H2, O2, BF3 and CCL4, carbon tetrafluoride, CCL4, here is BF3. Now, this one is a polar molecule, I am taking HCl and HBr and H2O also polar molecule, H2O. Now, dipole molecule means first one is HCl, I am taking example. HCl here is a more electronegativity here is less electronegativity more density more electron density present on chlorine now another nonpolar molecule I am taking N2 I am taking nonpolar molecule here is neutral charge neutral charge symmetrical shape is present now it is this permanent dipole molecule is inducing charges creating charges on nonpolar molecule it induces means HCl HCl here is a negative here is positive this one is creating charges here is n double bond n here is minus means here is plus here also minus now this type of interaction this is a dipole induced dipole interaction because initially I am taking one is the permanent dipole molecule this is the neutral molecule neutral mass means means this is the non-polar molecule no charge is present because of no charge it is spherically symmetrical is present 
once it creating charges the symmetry is disturbed now this one is inducing charges on nonpolar molecule that's why dipole after creating charges this molecule creating charges on nitrogen that's why dipole induced dipole interaction dipole induced dipole interaction another example we can take hbr hbr here is negative here is positive now this one is another molecule i am taking o2 oxygen and oxygen here is positive here also negative and now this type of interaction is called dipole induced dipole interaction what is the dipole induced dipole interaction means one polar molecule one non polar molecule interaction is called dipole induced dipole interaction understand dipole dipole interaction dipole induced dipole interaction next one is the london forces london dispersion forces london forces are instantaneous induced dipole interaction london forces sided in london forces london forces because he is a physician london london is the scientist name london forces are dispersion forces here simply i am taking one of the one of the atom a atom i am taking a atom is the one of the non polar molecule non polar this one is the non polar molecule non polar molecule one of the atom i am taking here also b atom i am taking that one also non polar that one also non polar and a atom a and atom b close to each other when atom a this is also same size this is also same size two a and b atoms are non polar two atoms are non polar there is no cho charge is present electrically neutral neutral means they are symmetrical shape uh, one particular instant one particular instant a atom it is acting as a dipoles creating dipoles means that a atom the symmetry is symmetry is disturbed one side is negative charges one side is the positive charge why positive charge because one particular instant a atom behave as a dipole creating dipole means one side is more electronegative one side is more electron density one side is less electron density now this a atom already b atom is there na now this dipoles are inducing creating charges on b atom also now b atom also creating charges means here is plus 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 here is minus 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 now this one is the a atom is non polar now a atom is temporary 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 polar and b atom also temporary temporary polar this temporary temporary dipoles dipole dipole interaction this one is inducing inducing this one is instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction what is happening simply i am taking a atom and b atom this a atom and b atoms are non polar a because uh, there is no charge is present now a atom and b atom they are very close to each other now a atom one particular instant behave as a dipole behave as a dipole means this symmetry is disturbed one side is more electron density one side is less electron density now this more electron density creating charges inducing charges another non polar atom another non polar atom now this temporary temporary dipoles are formed this interaction is called london forces dispersion forces are instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction for example h2 molecule i am taking h2 molecule this one is the non polar and this one also h2 these two are non polar molecules one particular instant one particular instant the 
the hydrogen creating dipoles one side is negative one side is positive now this one is attracting this dipoles are creating inducing another hydrogen atom also here also the plus and plus here minus and now this type of interaction is called london dispersion forces london london forces are dispersion forces two non polar non polar molecule a atom and b atom taking but a atom one particular instant behave as a dipole this dipoles are creating another non polar atom creating charges this one also temporary dipole is formed here also temporary this interaction is called london forces next one is ion dipole interaction ion dipole interaction example write down ion dipole ion dipole interaction interaction what is ion dipole interaction for example ion cation or anion cation or anion interaction with the uh, dipole dipole means polar molecule polar molecule for example nacl dissolved in dissolved in water because water is the polar now hydrated nf nas hydrated sodium hydrated sodium and hydrated chlorine is formed hydrated chloride chlorine is formed now example is ion dipole interaction nacl dissolved in water to form hydrated sodium hydrated chlorine now you take na plus is dissolved in water this one in interaction with negatively charged oxygen atom of hydrogen next one also this one interaction with negatively charged oxygen atom of water and this one also interaction with negatively charged oxygen atom of water molecule and here also attraction and this type of attraction is called ion dipole interaction ion cation this is cation ion dipole the water is a polar molecule dipoles are formed na ion dipole interaction now chlorine chlorine ion cl minus anion attracting towards uh, positive hydrogens hydrogens are attracting chlorine chlorine is there na cl minus it will be attracting hydrogens it will be attracting hydrogens negatively this is positively charged this one also positively charged this one is negatively charged now chlorine is attracting towards positively charged hydrogen atoms of water here is ion dipole interaction who cation anion interaction with polar molecule that is called ion dipole interaction next one is ion induced dipole interaction understand this one nacl dissolved in water hydrated sodium hydrated chlorine is formed now sodium is attracting towards negatively charged oxygen of water molecule next to ion induced dipole interaction last one ion induced dipole interaction ion induced induced dipole interaction ion induced dipole interaction interaction here ion induced dipole means ion means cation or anion we can take anion also cation and anion here is a induced dipole means this one is the polar non polar molecule this one is the non polar molecule example n2 o2 cl2 br2 and bf3 carbon tetrachloride ccl4 these all are non polar molecules now i am taking ion interaction with uh, no 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 this 
cation, cation or anion interaction with non-polar molecule. This type of interaction is called ion induced dipole interaction. First one I am taking Br minus. This one is the negatively charged ion. And now another one I am taking N2 molecule here. Initially N2 molecule is symmetrical. Now this minus the ion is inducing charges on creating charges on nitrogen molecule. Now Br minus interaction with uh, nitrogen non-polar molecule here also creating plus here also minus. Now we can take Cl minus Cl minus interaction with uh, hydrogen here also plus here also minus. Here is plus, here is minus. Now chlorine, chlorine is a, the, this is the anion. Anion is creating charges on non-polar molecule. Non-polar molecule. He, this one is creating offer charges on hydrogen atom. One is uh, less electronegative, one is more, not electronegativity. This electron density, more electron density here, less electron density here. Less electron density means positive charge. Now ion. This one is the non-polar. Ion non-polar interaction is called ion induced dipole interaction. Actually, no dipole is present. Here is no dipole. This is the non-polar molecule. No charges are present because it will be offering. It will be creating charges on non-polar molecule after interaction is called ion induced dipole interactions. These are the five types of Van der Waals interactions. One is dipole-dipole interaction, dipole induced dipole interaction, instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction, ion induced dipole interaction, ion dipole interaction. These are the five types of Van der Waals forces of attraction explained by J.D. Van der Waals. And this is the one of the useful and uh, please keep uh, watch my videos and uh, all the best your preparation for NEET exam 2023.